Good day everyone. There's a thread on the forum that kind of um, got me um, interested into seeing um, pretty much what this video is about. Um, it was indirectly sort of sort of related to this, um, but I'd never actually seen this on an oscilloscope before. Um, basically, it's to do with the diodes in the feedback um, loop of an op amp. If you have a look at the tube screen, for instance, you'll see that there's a 1N914, there's two 1N914s um, back to back, um, and a drive pot which controls how much drive the um, how much drive the the pedal um, will give you, uh, how much overdrive, um, and changing those LEDs um, will also have an effect with high forward voltage diodes like LEDs um, that have 1.8 to 2 volts of forward voltage. You'll get more dis you'll get less distortion, and more headroom, um, and same goes the other way. Like with a germanium diode that has a very low forward voltage you'll get more distortion and less headroom. That's how the theory goes um, and that's what happens um, as I'll show you on the oscilloscope in a moment. So I've got this probe connected to the 1K um, resistor on the output of the first stage of the tube screamer before it hits the, um, the output buffer um, and um, it's the best way to see what's going on before it goes into any of the tone controls or any of the other um, any of the other shaping um, uh, circuitry on the output um, so we can see clearly what's going on and I've got it connected to my um, diode um, selector box here um, and I'll show you what happens when we um, select uh, a high forward voltage um, diode and a low forward voltage diode on the oscilloscope. So the yellow signal is the um, probe on the first op amp on the output of the first op amp and the red signal is the input voltage, which is around about approximately one volt, and the um, and the yellow is about five volts, um, and they're both sine waves. You have to ignore that noise; it's coming from the power supply. I haven't got a filter on it; it's a bit of a noisy one. Um, so let's have a look at what happens when we change um, the diodes. Actually, at the moment, it's set to. Um, I've got two diodes plugged in um, on the um, selector box. Um, five is 0.38 volts. Um, and 4 is 2 volts. So I've got an LED and a BAT41 at the moment plugged in. Um, so let's just put that to make that um, the same. So that is um, 2 BAT41s which is 0.38 volts which is quite low and as you can see the signal just clipped as I changed it from LED um, to BAT41. So if we go 2 LEDs now without knocking the thing off the table um, we can go like that and we'll see that it changes to a sine wave. It's a pretty clean looking sine wave. You're still going to get distortion out of this thing though. Um, once you start cranking the drive uh, on the output, it's just because we're not on the output as well. Um, you can't see any of that stuff. You'd still get distortion with two LEDs, um, but you will get more headroom and you'll get less distortion. Let's go like the lowest, which is actually um, a 1N34A. Um, I'll just change that now. So that's with two 1N34As, which are 0.33 volts. And obviously, the more that I increase that, the um, sorry, the, the 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 smaller the forward voltage, the higher the amount of distortion you're going to get. Kind of clamps the amplifier's um, um, supply voltage, um, and um, you end up cutting off the top of your signal, and it creates more of um, uh, creates more distortion. So that's an easy mod that you can do. You can change your um, diodes to a, uh, a lower forward voltage diode like a germanium um, diode if you want more distortion or if you want more um, if you want more headroom then you can you can increase the forward voltage um, uh, change them from germanium to silicon or silicon to a, uh, a, a water clear LED is probably the extreme uh, diffused LED might be good as well um, they're a little bit they're a bit lower than um, than um, the water clear LEDs, I'm pretty sure. Um, but um, yeah, so that's that's um, a bit of insight, I guess, into how LEDs affect your signal um, in the feedback loop of an op amp. Hope you got something out of that, um, and thanks for watching.